Hey guys, this is Santi Numarella, and you're watching Wrestling Revolution with Kita. Welcome, wrestling fans. It is Wrestling Revolution. Keaton here at NIPW's Underground 3. Today's match is the entertainer Chris Mercer versus Tucker, the former WWE NXT UK superstar. What a match. You're going to witness here. Probably NIPW's match of the year. And coming to the ring first, the winning and defending Titanic Wrestling Champion, the former WWE NXT UK Superstar, this is Tucker! Representing NIPW, the entertainer, Chris Mercer. What a great match this is going to be. Chris Mercer versus Tucker. Titanic versus NIPW. 
New generation versus old generation. Now we're having a bit of test of strength. Let's see who's stronger. Two very strong wrestlers are going on it. Both of them are the same strength. They had to let go. Can you imagine the stress that is coming into these two people's heads? These two are Northern Ireland's best wrestlers. Titanic Wrestling's very best and NIPW's very best. They must feel like if they lose this match, they're letting their companies down. Now we're going for another test of strength. Now Tucker using this technical ability with that wrist lock. This is an advantage that Tucker has. Every single moment that Tucker takes advantage, it's to do with experience. He's an in-ring veteran. A technical magician. <laughs> I don't even think Chris Marshall knows who he's facing. Chris Marshall's never had a match like this. He's been through some really tough matches, but none quite like this. Now we're going for another test of strength. Tucker again using his technical ability. Beautiful technique by Chris Marshall. Headlock takedown and Tucker is not the only one with pure technical ability. Crucifix 1, 2. That was a beautiful technique there by Chris Marshall, but it was not enough to put away Tucker. We're going for another test of strength once again. Let's see who's stronger this time. Headlock takedown by Tucker. Chris Marshall just about makes Tucker roll out of it. My Tucker getting waist locked by Chris Marshall. Tucker trying to use all his might to get out of this. Chris Marshall tripped, just tripped Tucker up. Went for a clothesline, went for a back elbow. Chris Marshall went for a clothesline. Now Tucker has been a waist lock position. Beautiful flying back elbow by Tucker. Did you see the hate on that back elbow? Chris Marshall thought it's gonna hurt in the morning. And so is his chest. The fans are calling for one more chop. Ouch, did you hear the sound on that chop? That's gotta be a stinger. Third chop to Chris Mercer. I don't even know how Chris Mercer is still sounded. That looks so painful. I would just quit this match already if I was Chris Mercer. A beautiful backflip by Tucker. Just showing off his great ability in the ring. Flying back elbow from the top rope. My Tucker is going for one of his best moves. The SDK. There's only one person recorded in history that's ever kicked out of that SDK, and that's Rocky Star. If Tucker had hidden that SDK, that would have been it. But now Chris Marshall is the world of the SDK with numerous amount of elbows. Oh, that is gotta hurt Tucker there. And Tugger does not know what's coming for him. No more big elbow. Chris Marshall going for the cover and Tugger just about kicked out at two. Chris Marshall called for one of his best moves, the elbow drop. Chris Marshall climbing up, he's hurched. On the top rope, can he land the elbow drop? Oh, Tucker's such an in-ring veteran. Move to the corner. Very smart move by Tucker there. Double knees to the chest by Tucker. Nice. Tucker going for the cover and a kick out of two by Chris Mercer. Hiding Chris Mercer. Kick out of two. 
Look at the chest of Chris Marshall from Luke Chops by Tucker. <laughs> Big elbow drop of his own by Tucker in the style of Chris Marshall. Big boot by Tucker. Wasn't fancy at all, but it done enough to knock Chris Marshall down. Big boot to the belly of Chris Marshall. Did you hear the whack on that punch that Tucker just gave Chris Marshall? That sending him right outside the ring. Chris Marshall going outside the ring to try to take a break from this match. Oh, big chop, but Tucker is not letting it happen. He's not letting him get a second wind. Now, this match has turned into a slugfest. Both wrestlers just going blow for blow. Chris Marshall's just so tired, he just fell down there. You can't blame him. Being in the ring with Tucker can be a very, very tired situation. Face first goes Chris Marshall right into the ring apron. Oh, big double chop to Tucker. Now Tucker is getting payback. You can see the chest of Chris Marshall. I battered his chest is. Another double chop. Did you hear the sound on that? Tucker is getting the taste of his own medicine. <laughs> oh no, but Tucker chopping Chris Marshall right into the chest. Did you hear the sound on that? This has just turned into a chop fest this match. Tucker and I send in Chris Marshall inside the ring. I don't even know how Chris Marshall is still even sitting up right now. Oh, big chop by Chris right on to Tucker. This match is an absolute chop fest. Let's go, Mercer. Let's go, Mercer! Face first goes Tucker, go, ran into the top sir. turnbuckle. Now Chris Marshall bombarding Tucker with numerous amount of punches. Tucker does not know what has hit him. I don't even know how Chris Marshall is still even standing in this match. Neck breaker! Thanks for coming, Tucker. One, two, kick out of two, kick out of two by Tucker. What an awesome match we are witnessing. After the amount of chops these two just give each other, Tucker was still able to kick out at two. This just shows the heart of these two wrestlers and the never give up attitude they have. Went for a close line, went for a back elbow. Hurricane Rana! Tucker showing off his great athleticism. Went for that clothesline into the corner. Tucker missed now. Tucker is on the second rope. Backstabber! Now that's gotta be it. The back of Tucker must be torn. One, two, kick out of two, kick out of two. How on earth did Tucker just kick out of two? Nothing can keep Tucker down. Apart from one thing, the finisher of Chris Mercer, the elbow drop. Chris Mercer climbing up to the top rope. Went for the elbow drop, Tucker just about moved out of it. Sling blade! And for the second attempt, Tucker gets the clothing into the second turnbuckle. 
Tucker and I is on the top rope. Highest crest marker even stunned. Double leg handle. Hook of the leg going for the cover, but Chris Marcher again able to kick out at two. This match is going to be everlasting. Indeed it is. What an awesome match this is. Both of these people are absolute in-ring warriors. No wonder they're called Lord Island's very best. After the beating, Tucker just gave Chris Marcher. Chris Marcher just told Tucker that he chops leg a girl. There's no fear in Chris Marshall. But now it looks like Chris Marshall is going to get one of Tucker's best kicks. And that kick has just knocked out Chris Marshall for good. Hi, is Chris Marshall still getting up? Hi, is Chris Marshall still getting up onto his knees? This is not human. I don't think Crusher's Marshall's screaming. Tucker went for that kick. Crush Marshall just dodged it. Oh, big elbow. Went for a close then. Beautiful athleticism by Tucker. And Crush Marshall kicks out of two. I cannot believe this. Tucker. Cannot believe it in himself. You can see by the expression on his face that he cannot believe it. Tucker going for another one of his best moves. He nearly landed every single one of his best moves and Chris Mercer has kicked out of it. Went for the swamp tom bomb. Chris Mercer got the knees. Chris Mercer got the knees up. Like Chris Mercer looking like he's going to go for Pedigree Powerbomb Kick out of two by Tucker Hi there Tucker, kick out of two Nothing can keep both of these superstars down Look at how tired both of these wrestlers are. They're going to collapse. Yes. Pedigree. Crush Mercer. Looking like he's going to go for a pedigree. Went for a close thing. Massive kick to the belly. Now Tucker. Step up in Seguri. Step up in Seguri by Tucker. And Crush Mercer is down to one knee. Chris. Both wrestlers are down. Chris Marshall crawling for the pin. And Tucker just about kicked out at two. I cannot believe this. I've never seen a match like this. The amount of matches I've seen on NIPW, I've never seen one quite like this. Went for a close line. Tucker just about able to stand up from that. Now Chris Mercer looking like he's going to go for a pedigree for the third time. Can't he land it this time? Tucker just about got, getting out of it. Went for the SDK. Backflip by Tucker. Looks like he hurt his knee. Looks like he hurt his knee. Now Chris Mercer realizes this and he's going for the figure four leg lock. The already hurt knee of Tucker is getting figure four. One of the most dangerous moves in wrestling. Tucker is going to half the top. He has to tap the amount of pain Tucker is going to feel after he is already injured right now. He already has an injured knee and he is getting figure four. A move that most wrestlers would be tapping out yet by now. Never mind with an injury. 
Tucker just about got the ropes. He avoided a near drown experience. He would have had the tap there. You can see by the expression on Tucker's face how painful that move was for him. A submission like that could have your legs broken forever. He can hardly even walk on the knee, but he's still just about getting up. Headbutt, big headbutt to Chris Mercer. Irish whip, Tucker hit hard there, Tucker hit really hard and he flew right over the ropes. Full Nelson slam. One, two, kick out at two, kick out at two. This match is never ending. The fans are calling for the elbow drop. I don't think Chris Mercer has enough energy to do this elbow drop. No matter who you are, you cannot do an elbow drop from the top rope with this shortage of energy. Chris Mercer is trying to feel the power of the fans just to get up on his feet. It looks like Chris Mercer's got a second win. Now both wrestlers are going blue for blue. Double chop. Chop by Tucker to Chris Mercer's chest. Now Chris Mercer going for a number of blues. Oh, big whack to the side of the neck. Falcon arrow. Again, the already injured leg of Tucker is going to have to go through more pain just to get up onto the top rope. Look at the chest on Chris Marshall. It is red raw. Big punch by Chris Marshall just to try to stop Tucker from going to the top rope. There's seven seconds left. Superplex, but the time has run out. Both of these superstars are not better than one and other. They're just as good as one another. Both of them could not get the job done. What a great match both of these wrestlers put on. But it ended up in a drop. You can hear the appreciation of the NIPW fans. That was awesome. They are right. The 10 minute is already up, but Tucker wants more. Tucker wants more. And the crowd want more. I do not know why Tucker wants more in this match. After the tiredness Tucker must feel, he still wants to fight on and he still wants her to be a winner in this match. Tucker is crazy if you ask me. And the match is continuing. I cannot believe this. Tucker. SDK, SDK and referee Colin Blunt is knocked down. Referee Colin Blunt is knocked down. Tucker go for number one, two, three. Tucker's done it, but the referee is knocked down, which means the referee cannot count the pin. Therefore, the match is still going on. Tucker got referee up. One, two, kick out at two, kick out at two. That is out of pure unluckiness for Tucker. Tucker going 
gonna go for the SDK for the second time. Can he do it for the second time? He only has that injured leg. Oh, went for the SDK. Crash Marsher plants Tucker face first. That Crash Marsher, what's he going for? Pain driver. I crash Marsher just crawling to try to pin Tucker. Tucker kicked out! Tucker kicked out! How did Tucker kick out? You can see by the expression on Colin Blunt's face, he wants the match to be over. He only has an injured head after being SDK from the SDK master, Tucker. The fans are calling for an elbow drop, but Crash Marsher is just not in the right condition. He got a fan to trail him up. That was how tired Crush Marcher is. He got a fan to help him. Big kick by Tucker and Crush Marcher went for the elbow drop to the side of the face. Crush Marcher is just trying to hang in there. But he's in with the very best. Crush Marcher just amazing for being able to hang with Tucker for this one. Big headbutt! Big headbutt by Chris Marcher. And Chris Marcher is on the top rope. From the top, elbow drop. Elbow drop by Chris Marcher. Can he do it fast? One, two, three. Chris Marcher's done it. The entertainer has done it. He's done the impossible. He has just beat former NXT UK superstar and current Titanic wrestling champion. Well done to Crash Marsher. No one deserves this more than Crash Marsher. He fought through a lot of pain. Look at his chest. This just shows that hard work pays off. The war that he went through with Tugger. But in the end, Crash Marsher, the entertainer, has done it. Well done, Crash Marsher. Tucker looks angry. He's grabbing Chris Marshall. What does he want? You can see by the appearance of these wrestlers on their bodies that they've just went through war. Tucker has a nip and Chris Marshall has an absolute battered chest. What does Tucker want to say? Oh, it's all good. Tucker's only trying to give him. Crush Marsher, a gentleman's hand raise. And they're hugging it out. Great sportsmanship shown by two of Northern Ireland's very best professional wrestlers. Tucker is so respectful in the ring. What a great match they put on. Tonight has been a very emotional night for Chris Marsher. He just got the face of childhood hero Tucker in a wrestling match and also beat him. He's very well deserved for Chris Marsher. Through all the blood, sweat, and tears, Chris Marsher has been able to achieve his dream. And he got the wrestling one of his childhood heroes and came successful. Well done, Chris Marsher. You deserve it. Look at Chris Marsher's chest. Tucker can chop extremely hard. Although Tucker lost, he was still very friendly to get photos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and to play. I'll see you again next time.
Bye for now. And a shout out to NJM Rattles. If you liked what you've seen, you can get your tickets for NIPW's next show on their ground floor at www.nipw.sumupstore.com on the 20th of July at 6pm. Tickets are only £7 per person.